something a bit different on the All Thumbs Bum station today. We're going to drive the electric go-kart. And uh, this is the way of the future. Today we saw a Harley live wire as well in the wild, the only one I've ever seen. And so it's, it's a kind of electric day today. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get into rubble. Sunroof, abracadabra. Yeah. Sunroof, open sesame. It's not working. Mm. It binged at me though. Oh yeah, it what does that, that. What does that do? It's saying they've got a green light, but you don't. <laughs> and if you look, oh, it's to stop you. Oh, it's got a red, so it's got a red light flashing here saying your light, the light's red. So that light there, oh, and it goes green. How yeah, good's that? Lucky. But you can't coast. Can so you're either accelerating it. or you're braking or you just feather the throttle at cruise. Oh, it is different. Is there a handbrake or? No, so you just put your foot on the brake and then put the right stalk oops, all the way down. You gotta put the, the pin right number. You gotta put the pin number in. There. Yeah. <laughs> the right stalk all, all the way, way down. down. Yep. Um, it can tell, I'm too old. <laughs> the um, right stalk all the way down. Yep, yeah, so foot on the Oh there we go, you're in drive. I'm in drive. Well, that's a a bonus. <laughs> Oh, she gets up. She does, yeah, in the 60 to oh, 100. It, oh, it does engine braking for you. Or yeah. The, handbrake, the handbrake's not on, is it? No, no, no. It just brakes for you. So you don't ever have to touch the brake, really. This feels nice and thick. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, we're kind of... It takes a little bit of getting used to, but then... It's, so it's got automatic brakes. That's it. So you can't coast, it, it, and that regenerates your battery. That's it. That's a pretty good job of it. It's pretty. That's um. That's something I never knew about with these things. So basically, the car's doing all your braking for you, and um, didn't turn the indicator on. It knew I was turning right then. <laughs> and all you got to do is push on one pedal so why do they give you a brake pedal just in case just in case all right an emergency and there's no gears and uh, there's a couple of pinwheels here that you can play video games on <laughs> and it's got the big uh, screen here but it, it's got no speedo and it's got no tachometer quit proof car hang on I better say that again because the algorithm will lock me out this is an idiot proof car there should be many more of them sold in the area where I live we're driving around Brisbane City at the moment, and I'm not touching anything except the steering wheel. And now I'm not even touching the steering wheel. And look at this. We're pulling away from the lights. Like, this would be the best car to drive when you're hammered. <laughs> because it'll do the speed limit what you dial in, and it won't hit the car in front of you. All you gotta do is keep the car in its lane, and the trick to doing that is you cover one eye up. So you don't see double. Not that I'd know anything about that. So we're cruising along now. Um, it's showing cars that I can actually see out there. It's showing bins on the side of the road. Here's someone's braking in front of us. And watch this, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes. I'm touching nothing. Oh, except for the seat with my freckle. And just in case you can't see the cars in front of you, like if it was really foggy, you could drive Oh, that car disappeared. You could drive just looking at the screen. Look, nothing, again. I'm really seeing the benefit of this car. This, driving this car is like flying an Airbus. Driving a normal car is like flying a Boeing, so they tell me. But driving this car, you gotta drive it the way the car wants to be driven. And I think in the time that I spent behind the wheel, I've learned that this is the car for talking shit to your mates and uh, for when you're partying and stuff like that. And um, it'd be really good if you had a girl in the car with you um, because you know you wouldn't hit the car in front no matter how excited you would get. You could drive it while you're distracted and be relatively safe in it. So um, 
there's a lot of people that should be driving these who are probably driving Subaru Foresters. And action. 50, 60. But uh, it was interesting previously we were driving and they started giving all these all these warnings when we're coming up to a roundabout behind another guy it said terrain 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 pull up pull up stall stall those single syllable words don't work real well in the robot voice All right what <laughs> very responsive steering <laughs> it's putting on the brakes and the funny thing is it Every time you take your foot off the accelerator, it puts the brakes on. And every time it puts the brakes on, it's regenerative braking. The brake lights come on. So you look like an absolute dipshit from behind. But apart from the, doing the auto regenerative braking, I, you know, I, could, I, could, I could see how you could, you know, enjoy driving one of these a long distance so it'd be a lot, a lot less fatiguing um, once you realize you're driving an airbus not a boeing all in all though i still um i think i'm, I'm too old for this shit. i'm still an internal combustion guy but good handling, you know. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. It's got its own idiosyncrasies, you know. Um, it's like your nervous, hysterical mother's driving you around, but you're sort of still marginally in command. <laughs>